Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at a powerful feature in Google Colab that can make your coding workflow much smoother and more interactive forms and widgets. Whether you're experimenting with different parameters in your machine learning model or building interactive visualizations, Colab's forms and widgets offer an intuitive way to control and manipulate your code directly from the notebook interface. Let's get started. Forms in Colab allow you to easily parameterize your code by adding interactive elements like text fields, dropdowns, number sliders, and even date pickers. This means you can change values directly within the notebook without having to manually edit the code itself. Let's see an example. Imagine you have a function that takes a learning rate as input. Instead of hard coding the learning rate, you can add a number slider using the param decorator in a code cell. Now you can adjust the learning rate interactively and see the results in real time. Colab supports various input types, including strings, numbers, booleans, and even raw input for more complex data structures. It's incredibly flexible and makes your code much easier to experiment with. Colab also integrates with Jupyter widgets, which opens up a whole new level of interactivity. Widgets provide a rich set of UI elements like buttons, sliders, progress bars, and even more that can be directly embedded in your notebook. For example, you can create a button that triggers a specific function when clicked, or Use a slider to dynamically adjust the parameters of a plot. This allows you to build interactive dashboards and visualizations right within Colab. To use widgets, you'll need to import the IPy widgets library and use the display function to show them in your notebook. Colab supports a wide range of widgets, and you can even create your own custom widgets if necessary. To organize your widgets and outputs effectively, Colab provides layout widgets like grid and tab bar. Grid lets you arrange your widgets in a grid-like structure, while tab bar allows you to group outputs into different tabs for easy navigation. This becomes especially useful when you're dealing with multiple widgets or visualizations. Instead of having them scattered through your notebook, you can organize them neatly using grid and tab bar, making your notebook more visually appealing and user-friendly. Colab's widgets aren't just static elements. You can dynamically update them with new data as your code runs. This is particularly useful for tasks like displaying real-time data from sensors or showing the progress of a long computation. For example, you can use a progress bar to visually track the progress of a machine learning model training process. Or you can update a plot with new data points as they become available. This dynamic data population capability adds a whole new dimension to the interactivity of your Colab notebooks. That's a quick overview of forms and widgets in Google Colab. As you can see, these tools provide a powerful way to make your code more interactive, parameterizable, and organized. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced Colab user, I encourage you to experiment with forms and widgets and see how they can enhance your workflow. Don't forget to check out the links in the description for more detailed documentation and examples. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more Colab tips and tricks.